So today's video is going to be a little combination Challenger and Ram, although mostly Ram, and really about this Ram 1500 towing my Challenger. So just kind of over you, let's see what kind of mileage we get. Let's see how well it does. Uh, the Challenger has had some weight reduction, so it's probably down to around 30, let's just say 3,800 pounds. Uh, the trailer is just a U-Haul rental. I think they weigh in around 1,200 pounds. So basically, we're towing about 50 to 5,300 pounds. I've got, I don't know, 500 pounds of stuff and gear, tools, Jack, because we're going racing, so got to have stuff, not to mention me. We'll tank of gas. And this is a 2017 Ram 1500 Crew Cab. So it has a 5.7 bed. It does have the 5.7 Hemi in it. I bought it used, but I've had it now for a year and a half. Heck, I bought it with 39,000 miles. It's got almost 74,000 miles on it now. So first thing, I'm gonna throw it in tow haul mode. Tow haul mode active. And then let's go ahead and reset the mileage and see where we're at. Right now we're averaging 13.1, but that's because I've recently been towing. Okay, let's do our trip A is the one I normally use. Let's reset it. All right, it's all zeros. And then let's go to our fuel economy and reset so it's all at zeros now this again is just about towing the car um i do also tow a travel trailer that's going to be a different video because travel trailers are a completely different animal and we're up i'm going to tell you right now just pulling out slowly this truck it doesn't even feel the car back there like you don't even feel anything at all oh i need to put in the directions i know where we're going but I like to know about traffic and things like that. So let's go ahead and throw it into the old ways. We're headed out to Texas Motorplex. All right, it's an hour, 11 minute drive, 67 miles. Acceleration's easy, no problems at all there. I mean, really, you feel a slight bit of tug from the trailer, but not much at all. Now this drive is gonna be mostly freeway and tollway out here in Dallas. I'm not sure what the wind is. It doesn't look like it's very strong, so I don't know that we'll really have a tail or head or cross or any kind of wind, really. Merging on the freeway, no problem at all. And I'm up to 70, just like that. All right, now, right now, we're just cruising along about 68 to 70. We're already just at 10.5, and it's actually slowly going up in mileage. By the way, one thing I love about these Ram trucks, and some not a lot of people know about, but if you go into your options in your Uconnect, there's a, an option to turn the rear cam on anytime you want. And I moved it down to here, because sometimes I just like to hit it and take a look and see what's going on here. And that's pretty cool. You could see everything even on the freeway. Now it will shut off pretty quick because I think the Uconnect like, doesn't want you just watching your screen. So see it just shut off on its own, but you can always just hit it again. And you know, you always just take a look and if you want to, I like to sometimes. So anyway, it's just a cool little feature. Not a lot of people know about that. You can actually check your rear cam out anytime you want, not just when backing up in the Rams. Now I will also say this is with uh, just hooked up straight up to a regular receiver, hitch receiver. This truck did come with the, the receiver from the factory. I'm not sure, I mean, they might all come with it now. I honestly don't know. But there's no type of weight distribution hitch, no anti-sway control, none of that stuff, just straight on there. It has no problem. Sway isn't much of an issue at all. I mean, it kind of goes a little bit but the car is very front heavy. I had it weighed and it's like 55, 45 is a split in weight between front and back. So the weight distribution is good. And the other thing too is being a car, it's lower. It's obviously more aerodynamic, so it's not an issue. Now I haul a travel trailer as well. Now that's a completely different animal. Even if the same weight, it tows totally different than a car and a trailer. And again, I'm gonna do that in a future video down the line because this channel is not just about my Challenger and racing, it's gonna be about this truck and towing and my travel trailer and going on adventures and trips and tips with all that. I'm um, still Mopar, because that's all I drive, Mopar, no car for me. So it's your Challenger, my tow is always gonna be a Ram. So this truck is completely stock, no mods whatsoever. Engine stock, intake stock, 
The only thing technically not stock has a K&N filter, it's in a stock air box. So just a regular filter replacement, that's it. Not a CAI or anything like that. Other than that, completely stock. All right, we've been traveling quite a ways. We're averaging 16 and a half miles per gallon. That's pretty damn good for towing 5,000 plus pounds. And I've gone 20, almost 27 miles now. So 27 miles at 16 and a half. And I'm telling you, when you're on a freeway, if you don't look in the mirror and see what you're towing, you almost don't even know you're towing something. It's pretty damn awesome. Now, braking wise, brakes handle it no problem. Like we just came to this stop because we got an exit coming up here and it's always backed up over here. But I will say this, last year, I same exact setup. I was towing my car in Houston for the Lone Star Mopar Fest and somebody was on the shoulder. There was an accident and you, if you, you driven in Houston, you know they're crazy out there. It's insane, people drive fast and they don't give a crap about no one. And it's pretty busy. So it's like, I had no way of changing lanes. And this person came out right in front of me from a dead stop. I'm doing 60, 65. And he came out right in front of me and I had to slam the brakes and I slammed them hard. And honestly, at that moment, I literally accepted the fact that I was gonna crash. Like I just, I was like, I'm crashing. There's, there's, there's no way I'm not gonna hit this guy. And I don't know how, I, I, I still am shocked. I never hit him. I mean, the brakes hit hard. The trailer stayed it, never jackknifed on me. And I think these U-Haul trailers might have surge brakes or something to kind of help out. And that may have been the, the deciding factor. I don't know, but it handled it. And I'll tell you what, my heart was racing, but my truck was able to stop it. The trailer stayed straight. My car made it and it was the scariest thing. But man, this Ram did it. It, it somehow pulled through and kept me from hitting this a hole in Houston, which so this word gets crazy, man. Anytime you have like one exit lane like this that backs up way far back and the other lane's not, you're gonna have people that don't want to wait and they're just gonna go up and try and squeeze in somewhere. So and they'll just stop right there. See if anything crazy happens. Man, that expedition forced his way in there. See if there's anyone else. I'm just waiting for somebody to try and get in front of me because they're like, oh, you got a trailer. You must, you know, take off slow. So, you know, it'll gap will open up. But that ain't how I drive. That's the thing, man. This Ram, it can handle it. You can stay bumper to bumper. You can stay up, brake hard. So you can avoid leaving that gap open for the people that just want to take advantage. Yep, ain't no one getting in front of us. Now it's too late. They're going to hit that guardrail before they get in front of me now. All right, we're 55 miles into it. We're averaging 15.6 miles per gallon. That's pretty dang good. We're, we have been stayed in tow haul mode. Pretty uneventful, some rough spots in downtown Dallas area. Now it, it is Dallas, so it is kind of a flatter area. We don't exactly have like steep grades and mountains here or anything. So I can't really talk to that. But this truck so easily handles towing a Challenger. I mean, if you have a car that you're racing, and you want to start towing it to the tracks and you need a vehicle to do it, you don't have to go out and buy some crazy three quarter ton or especially not a dually. Um, yeah, they're nice. You're going to have, you know, having more power than you need is always nice, but you don't need to. If you're on a budget, you need just some cheap. You can pick up, like I picked up, this is a 2017 Ram 1500. I bought it used for $26,000. It had 39,000 miles on it. And honestly, it was a great price, but I got a great, good deal on it because it's a Lone Star Edition. It's pretty much not fully loaded, not quite Laramie status, but it's got a lot. It's almost like a step below the Laramie. It's got quite a few things and it's been awesome for me. It tows my car, no problem. And again, I tow other stuff and we're gonna do more videos on this and all the other things I tow, including things a lot bigger, a lot heavier than a Challenger with the same truck. So thanks for watching, hope this helps. Uh, especially if you're out there looking for a tow vehicle or, or trying to figure things out. So you don't always have to drive your car to the track. And I don't even own a trailer yet. I'm just renting new hauls. So hopefully I get to the point where I can buy a, a train my own trailer too. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.